a Green Lumière sur Natasha Chagab Julo, M. Night Shalaman regresa con un thriller tenso en trap. Un padre y su hija asistan a un concierto de pop donde se dan cuenta de que están en el centro de un evento oscuro y siniestro. El elenco de trap está dirigido por Josh Hartnett, quien interpreta al padre, y haciendo su debut como actriz está la hija mayor de Night Salika. <música> What's with all the police trucks outside? The cameras everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. We, quick, we had a quick phone call. Uh, we really saw eye to eye. We'd met before, so we knew each other. And, um, and then he sent me the script. And I was like, holy shit, this is gonna be tough. Like, this is gonna be tough to pull off. And, and he's the right guy to do it. And I felt like I could make the character credible. I could make it interesting. And it was gonna be a big challenge. And I love a challenge, so. Somebody help me! Dad. 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 I'm sorry, Riley, what was that? You know, I try to do things that are extremely dangerous, and by dangerous I mean I'm not sure I can pull it off. And there is no um, evidence that, it's, that others are ready to receive it, you know, that I, when I feel that kind of thing, that I'm just hearing it, my, I'm hearing something that I find really interesting, like a note, like a North Star, that's the thing that, that drives me. I don't want to get addicted to risk, because can, that can happen too. You know, you just keep pushing, pushing. I'm jump out of plane. I'm gonna jump out of plane without a parachute. You can just keep on. You can get addicted to that. I have to be very careful about that. But I, I think um, it keeps you, it keeps you pure, and you keep learning because it's very hard to keep learning. You can start shut down, and and I tell everybody this, my my children, everybody that you, there's no option about staying the same. So you're either regressing or you're growing. I mean, I guess I always grew up knowing that he made movies, but I didn't really think that was different than what anyone else's dads did. It was like, everybody's dads go to work, and some are doctors, and some, you know, do this, and some are lawyers, and my, my dad makes movies, and he comes back home for dinner. Like, it wasn't sort of anything different, you know? <laughs> oh, no, we have pictures of them on every movie. Um, you know, there's a picture of me that uh, that I'm holding the two babies on the on my lap as I'm directing Sam Jackson to throw down the cane down the stairs and unbreakable. So, like, Ishana's in a diaper and Salika's, like, you know, cr cuddling me and I'm looking over and I'm like, no, Sam, throw it, throw it that way, you know, like that. It's so cute. And so they're, all they cared about was their daddy. You know, my dad is very much about keeping the family together. And so we'd always be on his sets all the time and kind of traveling with him when he travel for movies and just seeing what he did all the time. And so there was a great respect for the art form of filmmaking and all the art forms that are, in, you know, integrated into that and my sisters and I kind of had an early understanding of all that went into it and, and really admired it. Like he's one of the most optimistic, optimistic guys I know and it's just to be around that sort of uh, constant optimism is really really nice and, and it makes for I think a really cool set atmosphere where people will just try new things and you can get a movie that's this varied and this cool this out there because people are willing to try sacrifice for, for him. Hey, oh. 